G'day Terry, Shane here from Wayne Phillips Isuzu down at Christie's Beach. Just with a quick video of the LST that you've inquired on, 44990 it's a hell of a bargain. Um, it's a uh, the last of the Demo 17s that we had. Um, it's a uh, lovely car and the only thing different, I guess, between this and a brand new one is this one doesn't come with the standard electronic uh, trailer sway control. Apart from that, they are identical in every way. Uh, lovely car, you've got the larger uh, alloys there, um, and uh, they are, uh, sorry mate, they're an eight, uh, 18 inch tyre, uh, fitted with uh, Dunlop all terrains. Uh, the Grand Trex, as you can see there, the LST, a lot more chrome, you've got the LED lights in the front there, uh, and a very nice, uh, well presented front end. Uh, very stylish and they've come a long way overall um, in the Havana brown lovely color as you can see in different light comes out in a different color and uh, really is a, a very stylish um, new color for Isuzu a lot of chrome on the LST you got the side steps as well see their chrome mirrors chrome door handles Leather interior, very nicely uh, well put together interior, door trim, uh, you've got piano black finishes um, and uh, you've got uh, plenty of storage space as well. So you've got a top glove box there, bottom glove box, nice and deep, you've got the remote in there at the moment for the uh, the DVD player in the back shelf, uh, sorry in the, in the roof and you've got a, another storage uh, compartment on top as well car is a, uh, a demo so it is a new car it has been driven um, there are about 9,000 kilometers on the clock but uh, the car presents as new uh, keyless entry keyless ignition push button start and plenty of space throughout the vehicle great comfort uh, very well appointed uh, with the leather very comfortable and uh, and very stylish at the same time center armrest in the middle folds down to give you a dual cup holder armrest there as well so coming around to the back of the car I'll show you um, easy lift tailgate reverse camera tucked away up uh, above the number plate plenty of storage in the back all come standard seven seats they are 50 50 split rear back seat um, giving you plenty of leg room plenty of space plenty of comfort uh, even for the adult so rear aircon all the way to the back and I'll cover that unit more from the front but uh, all the vents are up top with cup holders either side and a 12 volt 120 watt plug in the back as well bit of storage behind the seats um, you've got your uh, your cargo blind in there at the moment but uh, yeah good storage spot uh, especially for straps or, or something like that um, if you are planning on doing a bit of off-road full driving as well So nice finishes on the back again a bit of chrome um, You've got the uh, the chrome tip. You've also got uh, rear sensors And I'll just come down you've got the roof rails on top So LST is the only model that comes standard with the roof rails and uh, you can put uh, uh, Crossbars on that as well for roof racks uh, very easily so coming into the back seat again i'll just cover so you've got dvd drop down screen in the center nice big screen there operated by the uh, the remote control in the glove box um but uh yeah fantastic for the kids keeps them quiet with your premium sound there as well with the live surround sound system throughout the car and your rear aircon units up on the ceiling there uh usually out of reach of the kids um but uh, you've got full fan control uh, for the back end as well coming through to the front as I say where it all happens you've got uh, push button passive entry electric windows electric mirrors with a mirror fold control so that folds your mirrors in uh, you've got a downhill descent control there and a dimmer for your lights uh, driver's seat is all electric all right so you've got full adjustment and uh, again as you can see there uh, car presents as new uh, leather armrest in the center so uh, and a nice big sorry center console department as well cruise control on the right hand side of the steering wheel audio controls on the left hand side with your bluetooth there as well 
I'll just turn the car on. Push button start to the left of the steering wheel. And a nice big display. So you've got your uh, speed on the right, tacker on the left. In the center control, uh, you've got a, uh, an information screen. And now that one gives you your instant fuel economy, trip A, trip B, average fuel economy. Um, you've also got your average speed, distance traveled, uh, time elapsed, and range to empty. Fuel gauge and temperature gauge on that center screen, and outside temperature there too. So a nice big easy to read display. And then you've got your main screen in the center. So the main screen gives you uh, pretty much everything. It is a touch screen, so you've got your media control, you've got AM, FM, uh, disc, USB, iPod connectivity, auxiliary input, Bluetooth audio, and a HDMI input as well. Um, going back to that home screen, satellite navigation gives you a fantastic big display, um, and uh, it's very easy to navigate through. Um, you've also got your phone connectivity there. Eco mode, that basically gives you an average um, of your economies, etc. Um, has been left running on the yard a bit, so it's sitting a little bit high at some points. Um, but I did reset it uh, previously to a test drive this morning, um, and, uh, and you can see there the, uh, the average economy of this car is, is really low. Um, sits around that 6.5 to 7.9 somewhere between there so it averages about seven liters to the 100 k's which is uh, a fantastic for a vehicle this size you've got your climate control underneath as a unit very straightforward you set the temperature turn the dial for the temperature adjustment automatic button on the top left then you've got your fan control there I'll turn that down before it blows me away uh, underneath you've got your HDMI input two USB inputs and auxiliary input there is a cigarette, uh, cigarette lighter there as well, uh, also doubles as a 12 volt plug, which you do have a secondary 12 volt plug uh, in that top centre club box. Two high four, high to four, low four wheel drive, so very straightforward, very basic, uh, on the fly, two high to four high, under 80 k's an hour, four high to four low, stop, stationary, neutral, into four low to lock it up. Uh, standard park reverse neutral drive in the six speed, and then you've got a sequential shift there as well. So you can kick that across, gear up and gear down accordingly, and uh, giving you full control as you would have in a manual. Uh, dual cup holders there, plenty of room, plenty of space, drink bottle holders in the door too. So I hope I've covered everything for you. Any other questions, please don't hesitate to give me a call. Again, Shane Miller from Wayne Phyllis Isuzu down at Christie's Beach in Adelaide, 0418. 859-359. I will just add quickly, Terry, this is the last one that we've got. Uh, it is a very cheap demo in the LST, uh, and I wouldn't expect it to last long at this price. Uh, it has been driven this morning, um, and uh, we're just waiting on a, uh, on a wife's input on that one. Uh, so, mate, if you want and you're interested in the vehicle, let me know. Um, you can put a deposit on the car. Uh, subject to viewing your trade-in, we'll have a look at it, see what we can get to on Saturday when you can get here, but at least then it puts it aside for you. Again, Shane Miller, thank you very much. Cheers, Terry.